Scenes of employees sewing in a factory in North Carolina used to be a lot more common. I grew up around textiles, around the state folks who were, you know, a lot of them were textile folks. And I saw the devastation in that industry in the last 10 years or so, the plants all shutting down. So it does my heart good, it does. It's a mission that I really believe in. What feels good to Judy Hill is manufacturing her high cotton ties and cummerbunds in her home state. Bow ties are not the easiest product to make, but this factory had the ability. We're delighted to have found this uh, factory and, and we can de definitely grow with them here. From the perspective of Judy and her son, High Cotton co-owner James, there's a lot to like about American manufacturing. You can talk about lower prices in China, but then you can talk about productivity and efficiency in America, and that's where we win out every time. There are so few places like this left in North Carolina that Judy Hill doesn't want to tell people where it is. I'm very protective of this plant, and I love them so much. The fear is that the factory, which is already operating near capacity, will be overwhelmed and High Cotton might be forced to find someplace else to make its products. We're not trying to keep it a secret, but we, we really just want to make sure that we can be provided for in North Carolina and not have to go to China. There's so few people who can do this. As it stands, the relationship is solid, with High Cotton getting its ties made and textile workers holding on to their jobs because of the business. I didn't think a year out of college I would be in a position to feel that way, that um, you know, people's jobs were relying on the business that we're doing. As High Cotton grows and expands, it should keep even more people employed. A new line of t-shirts, for example, even uses North Carolina-grown cotton. The cotton's grown here, picked and ginned and spun and woven and dyed and made here in North Carolina. So that's a lot of folks that are being you know, put to work uh, by our little company. High Cotton Ties is just a little more than a year and a half old. Judy began making washable bow ties for her oldest son, who was a medical student. It really hit it, struck a chord with the doctors and the med students, but that is not our biggest market. The company's top market was discovered when Judy sent ties to James, who was president of his fraternity at UNC Chapel Hill. I was sending him ties. He did not know I was making them. She knew if I knew there was some sort of connection that she may have made that bow tie for me. Um, I might not have worn it. I started telling all my buddies, um, I guess I, they wanted to know where to find it. And so I called up my mom and she was pleasantly surprised that they wanted more and she was laughing that she was the one that actually had made them. Because of the popularity of the ties, Judy could tell she had stumbled onto a business opportunity. My mom had a great passion for it. Um, and as her son, I may have had my doubts, my reservations, but she said she wanted to do it and she knew how to do it and she had the talent and the skills to do it. College campuses in general and fraternities in particular were prime spots for high cotton from the beginning. They're casual and they're very comfortable and they're a classic southern look with ties to the south. So it resonated, I think, with the college kids more than anyone. We have college reps on the campuses all across the south, students who are our reps. And so they talk about us on the campuses and they wear our ties. Last year, the company targeted 15 campuses. This year, that number has grown to 50. It's mostly ACC and SEC schools, but there are others as far away as Maine. Just the coolest experience to get on campus and see people wearing your ties and saying, oh, we've heard of high cotton and we're here for high cotton. The bow ties, the material, the look, all has a retro feel to it. I think we're the only all-cotton bow tie company in, in many, many years, by decades, by some of the 40s. James is the one who hits the road to convince men's stores to carry the line. I say, hey, I'm James Hill from High Cotton. What we have here is we got cotton bow ties made in the South. So you go one, two, three, and sometimes that's all I need to say. Every time we get a new extra store, it's the best feeling in the world knowing that someone believes in us and believes that we can help their business. High Cotton has about 240 ties of different colors and fabrics to meet the needs of a wide audience. It's all classic though, without the novelty patterns that are common elsewhere. We started with the seersuckers, the ginghams, the tattersalls, and the madras, which are traditional um, patterns that have been around the South for a long time. Some might be intimidated by the challenge of a tie your own bow tie. That's a challenge though that James says is easily overcome. I've got my own little way of teaching folks, and I'm 100%. I don't let anyone leave without learning. It's frustrating. Guys have a mental block, and 
I try and overcome that because it's really like tying your shoes. At $45 a piece, there are bow ties on the market that are cheaper, but there are also some which are more expensive. We haven't had a problem with the price point. Um, we're very comfortable with it and our consumers like it. So we're very happy uh, that it keeps the wheels turning right back here. There's a comfort zone on the price, but also for the product line, as Judy and James have no desire to get into making all sorts of other pieces of apparel. We want to stay with bow ties. We're not going to do neckties. We're really trying to stick with something and do it very well. Plenty of people are happy with what they are getting from high cotton ties, and for Judy and James, that provides a way to make a living, but also the satisfaction that comes with producing something that others want to make a part of their lives. The fact that the name High Cotton meant something to them, uh, they were sold on the product, they gave it a chance, they enjoyed wearing it, they told their friends, and it's just a full circle type thing that, you know, you hope never ends.